2 p.m. on Sunday. Last night we had five inches of rain. This is the Stewart County landfill. The borders on the Singer family property. Everything you can imagine is here. Even though it was closed probably 10 years ago. But it was not properly closed. There's probably 35 acres of land here in the landfill. And every drop of water that falls on it flows north and west onto property owned by Singer, known as the Old Mill Place property. Old dump site. All this flowing downhill. And then it flows west. 100 yards to single property. Earlier today, water flowing through here was probably 14 to 15 inches deep. This is the flow that was 15 inches deep this morning. Flows to the west. And all kind of deep. Never ending. Except in the summertime. And then it's good news. The single line is about 50 feet past the trees you see in the distance. Looking toward the west. The tall pine in the background is Singer. Northwest, toward the north. The tall pines in the background are singer. Most of this damage happened last night. The landfill basically has not been attended to in any manner the last couple of years. But I got on them in August, and they've been working here since August trying to make it legal. But what they're doing is half making it legal. They never get it in shape to pass any kind of test that the state might require. This washing on our property was buried in this landfill over probably a 15 or 20 year period in the 70s and early 80s. It was not protected and vegetated properly. So now it's coming home to haunt both the single family and Stewart County. This was caused by their negligence.
I wanted to get a sample of the stagnant water in that pond. But evidently it's too late. Sewer pipes blown out, they're too small. The dams eroded, never were well vegetated. Just complete negligence. Looking south. Turning west. Northwest. And north. Fatty, you still working at the store? Uh, Can I do it? Bellwood? Or or do you want to do that? I, I, I do know. What are you doing? We're not going to do it right now. Mark Bill and I do know that, that Lily is a master. Yeah. All right. Johan went back and got his mother, right? Two sisters. Barbara and Mary. She brought the Bible. Right? Yeah, the mother's brought it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the mother. Johan's mother brought it. I think that was about 1830. I think so. said they could do it and we took it up there. They said it takes six months. Well, 23 months later, it was not finished. <laughs> but it finally, finally did get finished and last, uh, several months ago, Uncle Ben and I went up and picked it up. And we asked them not to make a new Bible out of it, but to restore what we had. And I'll try to tell you what I know about it. The facing is wood and it's covered with leather. They took all this leather off and all this brass work off and worked this leather where it would be more pliable. It was, would break like a saltine packet when you touched it. Uh, yeah, they, they put oil on it. These corners, these two are not original. Uh, these clasps, neither one of these are original. We do have the old ones of these. They, they took a jeweler and made, we made these corners to duplicate these. Well, you can see these round the off and yeah. are all the worn one. out and these are new. These, these are not. Those are not. Then they took what writing was on the inside cover, they took moisture and removed this cover, put new ice paper 
on the back and then reapplied this writing. And we can't tell much about it except the oldest date we see on it is 1702. They rebound the whole Bible. It's rebound. The back is done the same way. This was all that was left after all these years. The only place we can find the name Singer is right there. Right in the back. Right in the back. What does it say, Bill? It, we don't, all I can say, it, it says S-I-N-G-E-R. <laughs> I cannot read the name right in front of it. So. But you thought it was not a Jewish name. Well, it's Lutheran, it's Lutheran. It's, I never have seen many Lutheran Jews. It's a Lutheran Bible. <laughs> uh, uh, it's definitely uh, a Lutheran Bible because it says so. We know that the actual printing date should have been right here, but either insects or moisture <coughs> have done away with done away with this. Right. We do know that Johann's mother brought this Bible to Baltimore. And what was her name? Barbara. 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 Right. <laughs> Johann went back and got his mother yeah. and his sister, sister Barbara and <coughs> Mary. Mary. And all three of them married in New Paul. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All three of those are. Uh, now, now, we think somewhere in about 1829, 1830. Along in that time is when a lot of them got uh, yeah. yeah, and then they went back and in, uh, in, in a year or two later and came over here. They brought them. We know they brought this Bible because there it is. Well, Bill, was it was it that large when Aunt Carrie had it? It was that large when Aunt Carrie had it, and I'll tell you that, and and Uncle Betty can can correct me if I'm wrong. Aunt Carrie had the Bible. Mm -hmm. I didn't know she had it, and I, don't, uh, I, don't, I didn't know. Uh, all right. Mark Bell and, and, and Josie came through here and visited. Mm -hmm. And let she's. Me, let me you you, right you, there. you tell that. You, the right. cutest little lady you ever saw. I went to the door, and the maid came, and I told her who I was and what I wanted. And Aunt Carrie comes out, pushing a square chair and a head of her. Her steadying herself and uh, they talked with me for a few minutes and I said something about my wife was in the car and she said, well, you'll have to excuse me. And she went off into her bedroom. Oh, I don't know. It seemed like quite a long time. She came back and she gloves and a hat. White gloves. White gloves, yeah. <laughs> she had dressed in whatever was the ultimate of her idea of being a genteel lady to receive her family. So then she said, you may go and get your bride now. So I went out the car and brought her in. And we had a very pleasant time. And after, I don't know it was how long it had been, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe a half an hour. Well, we were very interested in talking to her. And uh, she called her maid in and said, I want you to go up to the attic and get the singing Bible and bring it in on. So the maid came down with it. Don't laugh, but it was in a sugar sack with MRA on it. That's how we covered it. <laughs> 1930, uh, two, three, somewhere in there. Okay, go ahead and pick up again. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what, what, year did you, what year did you go to her home? Oh boy, that's a good question. I really don't know. Uh, we had stopped there before, probably. I mean, when you got the Bible. Hmm? When you got the Bible, what year was that? I don't really know. Fifty. Bill? Before Bill was born? You weren't born, were you? You weren't with us. 
when we went back trip. And you always were with us after you were born. <laughs> so before March 52, this I had to go. Early 50s yeah. or late 40s? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, late 40s probably. So Aunt Carrie died 55, is that correct? <clears throat> 54, 55. Yeah, and she was 100 then. Oh, okay. She was a hundred Yeah, she was about ninety. Missing a few months. 90, 90, 90. 90. She was about ninety-five when Uncle Betty got the bottle. All right. Well, Uncle Betty carried the bottle back to New York and kept it. And then he got a letter from that was dictated by Aunt Carrie, written by Lucy or Jew. That's really one of the other. The other one. Which one. Saying that she had given it to the wrong. <laughs> <son>. <laughs> She, uh, Billy's brother Joe Henry was old. Uh, she wanted to give him to the oldest. Male direct descendant. So Billy then, in turn, gave it, delivered it back to Joe Henry's son. Right, when Joe Henry died, then Nella, Joe Henry's wife, gave it to Uncle Ben. So Why do y'all call him Joe Henry? We never uh, called him uh, anything but Joe. He was well, my contemporary. I, I know, but some, some of us called him Joe Henry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Uncle Ben is now the owner. the owner or the guardian or whatever he wants to be, or caretaker or whatever. Uh, and we're just so proud of it. It took a long time to, to get it in this shape. And, we, we kept it at our house for a couple of weeks, and Ann and Sam had kept it for a couple of weeks, and, and uh, we want to try to work out a way where everybody can enjoy it and keep it. And, uh, it's wonderful. Uh, that's basically all I know about it. That's, that's it. Well, we uh, owe the two uh, bills a whole lot of thanks uh, for, for doing uh, that. It's in good shape. We think it's in good shape. It's in pretty good shape. We think it's, 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 it's a remarkable job of <coughs> restoring it without overdoing it and ruining it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's in better shape than any family Bible in Georgia. You think about it. They brought, they brought this Bible over here maybe 200 years ago. Oh, and it's been on that boat yeah, 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 and a sail like boat with yeah. nothing, and you don't know how many people were on that boat. And, and it's heavy. And that's what it is. How in the hell they did it? I don't know. Uh, what year was it brought that on? Little lady uh, bring it yeah. yeah. back from Baltimore. Baltimore. That's Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they came from Baltimore, and the Bible had to be taken from there to here. Yes. And if you look at the size and weight of it, that was no small job in the summer. Yeah, I'm buggy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I bought either another sailboat down the coast, one of the two. What else did they bring with them besides the Bible? All we know is one spinning wheel. And this is West Wheel, is that right? Here? <coughs> a flax wheel. One little, one little flax wheel to uh, spin flax with. Uh, I'm sure they brought That's that else. little room at the end. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. But that's all that. And the picture of the kitty. Yeah. Picture of the kitten. Now, I've got, I've got Grandma's chair at my house, uh, which Jude Ball had, but I don't know how old it is. I'm sure they didn't bring that chair because it's a little cheap. Uh, nothing chair, but it sits, sits if anybody wants to see it, and see it in the home. We use it every day. Uh, this Bible and that flax wheel is all I, we know that came from Germany. Let's get back to Aunt Carrie in a minute. Bucky, Bucky, Jake. Mama was about once a month or something making me go spend the night with Aunt Carrie. Me and Aunt Carrie. And I went around there one night. I guess it was one of the nights either when she did. She was real old then. And Bucky, 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 So Mama sent me around there. So I went in there one night and we were sitting there in her bedroom. She asked me, said, this was 1952, 53. <coughs> asked me, said, you want something to read? And I said, yes, ma'am, I would like it. She walked out in the hall. She had something like a, some type of chest out in the hall. She got a newspaper off the top of the chest, like it had been put there that day. Brought it into, this was 52 or 53. And it was a 1946 Stuart Weston journal. About 18 years old. <laughs> so I read, I read the history. <laughs> uh, but I can remember it just like it was 
yesterday. Well, at that time, she walked pushing an old-fashioned straight chair ahead of her. And there was no rugs or anything because that didn't work out with her method of locomotion. But she was a, a very interesting, and of course I had known her when I was small. I don't think, uh, look around and see who's old enough. I guess no, nobody, but I used to be sent down here when I was eight, nine years old, and I would start out with that with Uncle Fred and Ralph. <laughs> and after one day of that, I would go around and get your father to okay my bringing my pallet over to your place. <laughs> Sleep. Your Uncle Fred was the only Terry. You couldn't be around him, and he'd put you to work even if there was something that wasn't needed. <laughs> How did you get down here from Atlanta? Hmm? How did you get here? Oh, trains. I had to change twice. Macon? And I don't know where for sure. All I know is... Macon in America. Part of my America. Name and where I was going pinned to me on the card up here. <laughs> and very careful instructions about what to do and how to do it and where to get off and where to change and all work. But I came down here, I don't know, three different times before I was really pretty much on my own, so I worked it out pretty well. And I don't think it came the same way twice. There was a number of different ways of getting here with changes at different places, and I don't remember where they were, but each time it seemed I came by a different route. But, you know, but it was a great place to be. And Fred Singer, despite all the tales that you hear about him, was a very, very unusual man. <laughs> uh, I had one uncle in Atlanta who said that he didn't know how Fred did it. In fact, he said he was sure that Fred had all, had more money than there was in the whole county accumulated at that time. Well, you knew what he did during the uh, World War I. No. You, he was German, and Probably. Oh, he sold war bonds. No, that isn't what he did. Oh. He made an, yeah, he was chairman of the Liberty Bond Drive. Right, I knew that. And, he, and what he did, he, he told the county, and it was in the county paper, he says, for every hundred dollars worth of bonds anyone in the county buys, I'll buy a hundred dollars worth of that. Okay, you know about the Bible as much as anybody knows. <laughs> We're going to try to find out more about it, though. We're going to take it to some people who... Who would you take it to, Bill? German? Somebody who could... Well, no, Julian knows a professor from the University of Texas <laughs> mm -hmm. who is, whose expertise is paper rest, restoration and book restoration. Uh -huh. And uh, if we send it to them, we're going to send it by hand deliver and bring it back to Lumpkin by hand deliver. <laughs> <laughs> Shotgun Gordon all the time. <laughs> And we're going to just, just look to different places that people who have more knowledge than we do, uh, you know, and try to find out. And, and what we're going to do is try to put a short singer family history either attached to the book or in the book as a, just a little loose, loose leaf. Mm -hmm. and, and whatever history that we can find about when it was printed, where it was printed, mm -hmm. where it came from, and that kind of thing, in the, in the book. So if well, anybody the book, uh, uh, so, uh, that Ann and Sam, I think, were primarily responsible right. for right. in connection with the reunion right. as it's most of what right. we're talking about. Most of about. what we're talking And we think it ought to be added to it. The only problem uh, is that it's fixed to be another generation. Uh, well, well, we can just keep adding. It. It'll be their responsibility to that's add. That's going to uh, be up uh, to uh, us uh, to, uh, to be sure that everybody gives us that information. Because somebody a uh, hundred years down the line is going to want to know the same thing we want to know mm -hmm. now. They won't even believe it. Well, I won't believe it, but it'll be there if we put it down in right. <coughs> okay. There it is, eh? Yeah, you take good care of it. I just want to say one thing. No, no, just the next day or two. We saw the 
article and followed up on it and kept me posted on what was going on regularly and has really the, the man that has seen this Bible restored. And I think that we now can... You see it? Yes. <laughs>